Good morning YouTube, William here. Uh, today I'm going to go over the uh, new Ag Leader GPS system. Uh, just got this system in. I'm hoping that the uh, daylight will uh, turn out. This is the in-command 800 system. We have this unit attached to our steering wheel here. This unit is supposed to be highly modular. Uh, this here, I'm probably going to redo. This was done by the uh, dealer that sold it to me. Uh, obviously, we're paying attention to where we're at. I'm going to wait for uh, satellites to link up, things like that, and we'll bring you back. I am in no way a GPS expert, but uh, I know a little bit. I'm really hoping to get this system highly modular and then I can bounce it between our small 45 horsepower and our TS-110 New Holland. The gentleman that I got this GPS system from, he explained to me that if you're wanting to figure out your actual implement width instead of just, oh, this is a 12-foot uh, International 5100, he said you take your amount of rows times the spacing. So that's what I'm going to determine now, and then we will change it on the LED screen. Okay, I'm here in the cab, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna go into setup, and here we are at configuration. I'm gonna bounce over to equipment. We have our New Holland TS-110 right here. I'm gonna go to implement, add an implement. We're going to planting, planter type, the drill. We have our 5100 hooked up. Not quite set on it yet. We go to drill, forward. These are your toggles right here. That's what I would call them. It is a make. It would help if I could spell. International model 5100 forward rear draw bar implement attached it is the rear draw bar it's not on our three-point arms uh, select seed rate controller there is no controller planter select section control okay enter the width we have a 12.0 and we have 12 feet as you can see there Distance from the hitch, we're going to say 5.0 for 5 feet. And that is from the drawbar pin to the actual application point. Uh, we don't have any implement wizard. Don't have that. Okay, and now we have 5100 set up. Vehicles TS-110. problem. Controller, we don't have one. Go back to our home screen. There we are. And now we should be ready to start planting with our 12-foot International N5100. I uh, called my guy. My unit uh, was saying that the uh, SCM was not connected, uh, and he said uh, for troubleshooting, he said just go to the home screen and shut the unit down give it a minute and then turn it back on. So that's what we're gonna do now. And then he said give it about five minutes to make sure it connects up. Uh, I was parked under a tree, so perhaps uh, it couldn't uh, quite get the satellites to jive with it. We are picking up signal now, no problem. This is yellow, it's not quite there, but it's uh, linking up, no problem. Okay, we now have a green satellite right here, so we are good to go. I'm going to click, this is the home screen, when I say go to the home screen, this is what I mean. This is the home screen right here. We click Guidance. We are already on New Holland TS-110, because that's the only rig we have with this at the moment. We click that. Now we click our wrench, and we go here to our implement width, 
and it's already highlighted so you can just start typing 12.0 okay now our implement width is 12 wide uh, speed input yada 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 things of that nature not really necessary don't have any offsets we go back crop 2020 uh, you can add all of this if you'd like uh, these are things you can just do at your leisure uh, we're wanting to start a new event a new event will be created obviously check mark and then I personally like the straight A and B line uh, or pattern you can change your pattern here of course got your pivot adaptive path things like that adaptive curve I should say our uh, guidance width is 12 foot implement width 12 foot we won't need to mess with that we don't need to enable our tram lines or enable access paths because we're not running RTK and now I will pick this up once we're in the field. Obviously right now our guidance button right here, our little steering wheel, we can't, we can't do anything with. Um, so we'll pick this up in the field. Okay, we've arrived here in our first 10 acre field. Uh, we're going to try it. Uh, normally that screen is hidden. Uh, I personally like the forward facing display instead of the overhead display like this. Uh, it's just kind of operator preference, but uh, that aside, this screen is normally hidden, so I'm going to tap my screen, and then I'm going to select right down here at the very bottom, select this, and go to New Pattern right there, and then we want a straight A B line. You can change your pattern now if we needed it. Our implement width is 12 feet, guidance width 12 feet. We don't need tram lines or access paths. Confirm that. Okay, so now we're going to get started. And to get started, all I do is tap up here in the top left-hand corner to set my A point, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay, I'm gonna get the unit started. Pick my gear. Just go nice and slow here so I can capture everything on video. Make sure I'm down. Now, a neighbor of mine taught me to run your planter. If you're wanting to set your AB line is don't plant that line. And then a good indicator if you're on track and you like where you're at uh, is to run down the exact AB line that you just put in. So I'm not going to plant on this run. make sure that the GPS is caught up. Now I'm going to set my A point. Now you have to drive I think 500 feet or so uh, before you can set your B point. So we will set our B point all the way at the other end of the field. Unfortunately the field was too wet to finish setting my B point in the AB line setup. However, if you follow these steps that were mentioned earlier in the video, you won't have any problems and the system works 100% flawless. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And we'll see you next time.